Thank you for your interest in Painting 2 and Painting 3. This video is going to explain a little bit about what these classes are, what you can expect to learn, and what you can expect to do while you're taking these classes. So the first thing we're gonna, I'm going to explain is why should you take an art class? Because there are very many different reasons to ask to doing that. First of all, you get a different learning environment throughout your day, so it's a nice little break. Also, you're going to be developing existing skills. Many students tell me that they can't paint and that's why they don't take a class. Well, that's a perfect reason to take a class, is that you're not really sure how to do it. You also learn new methods of expressing your ideas. And that's important because it's your ideas. It isn't just about what the teacher wants, but rather what is the idea that you have. We also learn about visual and verbal communication. Art is a visual language. What is the artist saying through their imagery? You are also going to be in a very safe and supportive environment where your opinions are respected and your ideas are encouraged. Art is all about trial and error. It always leads to growth. So art is a great place to make mistakes and learn from them. Mistakes are actually kind of encouraged. One of the ways that we learn is by saying, hmm, what would happen if? You're also going to learn how to set goals and manage your time, which is something that could benefit you in any aspect of your life. We also offer some unique experience such as art shows and field trips, things that you wouldn't necessarily get any other way. And what about if you're interested in a career in art? Well, this class helps you by giving you skills that you can be able to use in animation, illustration, graphic design, architecture and design, entertainment, and web design. So what's the difference between Painting 2 and Painting 3? Well, first of all, Painting 2 has a prerequisite of Drawing and Painting 1, while Painting 3 has a prerequisite of Painting 2. That means that Painting 2 is an intermediate level art course, while Painting 3 is an advanced level art course. In both classes, you are going to explore traditional and innovative painting techniques, subject matter materials. However, in Painting 3, you're actually going to be developing the exploration of series of work. So it isn't just about works dealing with one topic then moving on to a different topic, but rather approaching the same topic in different ways. You're also going to be developing your ability to explore and communicate complex themes in Painting 3. So now that you understand a little bit about the classes, what are you going to learn and what can you expect to learn within them? Well, there's a lot. First of all, we do work with composition a lot. It isn't just about here's an object and I'm just going to put it in the middle of the paper, but rather how are you going to arrange it to more accurately convey your voice. We also deal with different developing skills of technical skill and mark making. In Painting 2, we look at a lot of traditional skills it's a couple non-traditional, but in Painting 3, we really push experimental and non-traditional skills and techniques. There is the idea of thematic development. In Painting 2, we start a little bit simpler with thematic development, teach you how to come up with ideas, and then in Painting 3, we really push you in terms of finding your own voice through your artwork. Both of them deal with advanced color theory in various different ways. And of course, there's always the critical aspect of looking at artwork and talking about what is working and what can be done better. It's how we learn. That's a lot. So how are you going to learn this? Well, one of the things is, just like our other classes, we again use large and small group instruction as well as discussion. With these classes, we really focus a lot about not just listening to the instructor, but also listening to the peers that you have in class. We also, again, take time to work on you and develop your skill individually, meeting you where you're at, understanding what the ideas you have, and helping you develop those. All this is done through art production and critiques. It's not just about talking about your ideas, but rather helping you produce them, helping you refine them. Oftentimes, some students have a difficult time verbally communicating their ideas, so we give them opportunities to write them down so that we can help them. All throughout the semester, you are going to be developing your portfolio, which is going to show you just how much you've grown throughout the semester and through the experiences we've provided. Here's some examples of some Painting 2 student work. Now, don't be intimidated by the quality of work that you see here. Okay, yeah, these are some of the best students that we've had, but more importantly is that these students didn't think they would be able to complete the work that you see here. They honestly didn't think they had the skills, but they tried. They came into the class and they had ideas, they learned the techniques 
through various different things, various different activities and exercises we gave them and then developed beautiful work. Once again, like I said, they didn't think they'd be able to produce this work and what you see here is the results of their practice. It's the results of their trial and error. Painting three student work is a little different. Again, please don't be intimidated by the quality of work that you see here. Again, these kids have had much more experience than the painting two kids. And again, they didn't think they'd be able to do the work that you see here. This work, if you notice, is going to have more ideation behind it, more of a theme behind it. It isn't just about painting what you see in front of you. There is more of an idea. There is more skill that we develop, and there's a certain sense of mastery that these kids start to get. And by the way, this wasn't this work that you see here is not done at the beginning of the semester, but it's towards the middle and end of the semester. So there's always a time for experimentation, for trial and error. So finally, if you're interested in studying art um, because you want a career in art, such as animation, illustration, graphic design, architecture and design, entertainment design, and web design, this class or these classes are for you because we are teaching you skills within these classes that are going to benefit you in these courses of study in college. Um, if you decide to go to a vocational school where you study some of these things, these skills will help you as well as in the careers. Even though we may not necessarily teach you specifically animation, we're going to be teaching you the skills that you need to succeed. Thank you again for coming and visiting and learning a little bit about Painting 2 and Painting 3. If you have any questions about anything you see here or maybe something we didn't talk about, please contact the Lake Park High School Art Department with any questions. Thank you so much for your time. Hope to see you in class.